so that you can have a full graphs of concept. So we can convert this dollar into pound. What is the rate? $10,000, we are selling this dollar, right? And we want to buy a pound. So this is the rate of pound. If we want to buy a pound, the seller will give us ask rate, okay? So that is a trick here. We want to buy, right? And this is the rate of pound. We want to buy pound. The pound buying rate for us is 1.61. Answer would be 10,000 divided by 1.61. What is the answer here? 6 to level 1.18. Pound. Step one. What is the step two? Convert this pound into Malaysian ringgit. Now you have pounds. Now you want to buy a Malaysian ringgit. Right? Malaysian ringgit into pound. Here we go. Right? So when you want to buy, so this is the rate of pound and you have pound. If you want to buy Malaysian ringgit, you need to sell your pounds. They pay very close attention to this one. This is the value of pound into Malaysian ringgit. You need Malaysian ringgit. Do we have the Malaysian ringgit rate? No, we have the rate of pound. So you have pound, you will sell your pound. When you will sell your pound, right? You will be given bid price, 8.1. So you multiply this with 8.1. Answer would be 8.1. 50310.6. And these are Malaysian ringgits. Now convert back these ringgits into dollar. So this is the value of Malaysian ringgit. Now you want to sell those Malaysian ringgit. You will be given which price? You have the Malaysian ringgit and the rate is also in Malaysian ringgit. Do you, you will be given ask or bid rate? You want to sell, it means you will be given bid price, which is two zero dollar. We just multiply it with point two. Answer would be ten thousand and sixty two point one dollar. Look at that. If there were no bid ask, our profit was one twenty five dollar. And due to this transaction cost, due to this bid ask spread, we are getting lower number, right? So that's why it is said, in reality, even if the, the triangular arbitrage exists, but do account for its transaction cost. Why? Because it can el even eliminate your gains, even it can, give you a loss, right? But in case of locational arbitrage, there is no kind of such, such thing. There's a riskless profit, that's it. But here, riskless profit, but it can even eliminate, which means loss is gonna be the zero. Maybe you convert back due to this high beta spread, you ended up again earning the same amount. So why do, you know, go for extra fatigue and also so much you know calculation and all the stuff and you ended up the same result because your gain is eliminated by transaction cost so now look at our triangular arbitrage here step one you have dollars you want to buy pounds you sell your dollar when you sell your dollars sorry you have dollars you want to buy a pound 
you want to buy a pound, you will be given ask rate of pound. Ask rate of pound. Because you want to buy pound here and you have dollars. So you converted your pound in your dollar into pound and pound into the Malaysian ringgit. You would be given which rate? Because you have the Malaysian ringgit and you want to sell your Malaysian ringgit. You would be given bid rate. You convert those Malaysian ringgit into, uh, you convert your dollar, uh, your pound into Malaysian ringgit, right? And now you have Malaysian ringgit. You want to convert into dollar. So the rate of the dollar is in terms of Malaysian ringgit is 0.2 dollar per Malaysian ringgit. So that is the dollar rate. So you want to buy dollar, buy dollar mean you will be given bid rate. Sorry. You want to buy You want to buy dollars, right? It's a, sorry, it's a bid rate, but you want to buy dollars and you want to sell your Malaysian ringgit. Rate is Malaysian ringgit is equal to 0.2 dollar. So the rate of Malaysian ringgit when you are selling the Malaysian ringgit, the rate is bid rate. Here you are selling your Malaysian ringgit, right? That's why it's a bid rate. At the end, you convert back all the dollars and you ended up earning $62, that's it. Where is the gain as compared to $125? Wiped out through transaction cost, right? So this is the, the activity where you can get the profit, participate, use US dollar to purchase pound, pounds to ring it, and then ring it to dollar, right? So we have a lot of stuff that is coming in, in our next slide, but time's up. So we'll talk about it in our next class. If you have question, please ask, otherwise class is over. Any question? Class? So far, no, sir. Thank you. Okay, take care. Then we will be talking about its applications in the next class. I will be uploading its assignment as well, and that would be due not next week. It would be due until the next next class. Okay, maybe before the Thank exam. you. Bye bye. Okay, take care. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Ah, sir, sir, forgot one last thing though. Uh, the final.